morning, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. Today I want to talk about my 2023 lineup. This is it. <laughs> this little bit right here. What I did was I took three, yes, three different A5 um, coil bound planners, took them apart, and then I took and put just the month of January together. I wanted a small profile. I got a small profile. So this is what I'm gonna do for January. I don't know where I'm going from there. I just know I wanted something different. I wanted something creative. I wanted something DIY. I wanted to use what I had because I didn't really know what I wanted for 2023. And that's often how I start out and then I end up switching a couple months in um, for sure by mid-year. So I thought I might as well just use what I have. So last year at launch, I bought, I should say this year at launch, I bought the um, Compact Vertical, new layout, wanted to try it out. I thought you got a better deal if you bought the Coil 18-month version versus the Ring Bound. So I bought that. I had um, taken it apart originally and been using it in my A5 agenda, but um, it just didn't really have a place. So I have the whole year, 2023, in the Compact Vertical. So that is going to be my main weekly planner. So I have that in here. Um, I had a Coil A5 Daily Duo. I think it was 2022. 2021? Let me, we, we could check. We could check here. Because I have it in here still. <laughs> 2022. Okay, I did have one. Um, and I ended up also getting the ring agenda, so I didn't use the coil bound. Well, I used some of the months for you know, planning things out, but I didn't use all of them. So I grabbed what I could that was blank, and um, I'm kind of putting January together for that. And I think I have probably enough through at least March. I figure new planner is going to be coming out starting in July. So basically June, you'd be buying a new planner. So I just kind of wanted to pacify myself until the new planner line out came out. Um, there's been little little birdies talking, little things happening that um, the 2020, what would that be? 2024, 2023 slash 2024 um, lineup is going to be amazing. So instead of investing more into um, the 2022-2023, when I wasn't really fond of the designs, I thought I'd just wait and use what I have. And then hopefully for that next new lineup, there'll be something that I really like. And then I can full on invest because I'll be out of planners by then <laughs> anyway. So, and then I also found out besides a weekly planner, and a daily planner. I also need some type of journal. I had been using the A5 ring horizontal planner. Um, that's going to be done. I totally finished that. So I had so many of the A5 um, specialty notebooks that I had purchased or received in, in um, I think maybe it's like seasonal surprise boxes or, or other things that there had to be something I could use for journaling. So for that, I found, which one? I'm using the Daily Focus Journal. So I took, those are always undated. I took about a month's worth out of that. And I have that in here and then some extra note pages. So let's page through this before I start sticking some stickers and show you what I've got. Um, I do have a gold coil. It just happened to be the planner that I took apart to use the coil had the gold coil. I almost think it was this daily focus journal that had the gold coil. So I just kind of kept that one. And this is a cover I had purchased whenever, just one of my favorite new designs. Then we get into the planner, of course, the, the blank vellum. And then this page, I just decorated it with some stickers, put my name on it. And these are some stickers I had made up last year that I had laying around and just really liked. This is actually this background, this wood, not, it's not this wood, but my actual desk that I I use for planning. Um, I don't film on that now. I used to film on that, but um, it's a desk that my husband made me for my 50th birthday. It's going to be an heirloom, and I I took the sticker and manipulated it 
and got that as the actual background. So this is my actual desk, picture of my actual desk behind these drawings. Okay, so now when I put this together, obviously some things like 2022 and this page, they're not useful anymore. So I am just, I put some double stick tape on here. I just need to pull this off. These little pieces. And we are going to stick these two pages together because I do not need them. And I don't want to look at them. And um, it just makes it a little more cohesive and in the flow and um, just nicer. Nicer to look at. So now we have to hope that I can get this lined up correctly. <laughs> or the best I can. Give myself some grace. All right. So then we're just going to put that together. So now when we turn this, it's very thick, but we turn right into 2023. And that's just stuck together like that. Okay, so then this goes into my compact vertical, which I said was going to be my catch-all planner. So there's the month of January, just like it should be. I still have to design stickers for the month. I have started for the weeks which I'll be showing you shortly. I'm going to have new digital download um, sticker kits in my shop. I figure that's like the most, for me anyway, it's the most economical way to put stickers in your planner is buying the digital downloads and then you have them forever. Like the January or the seasonal stickers for this season can be used next season, hopefully if you're in the same size planner. Or it can be printed for as many times as you want or, or changed around or whatever. So that's, you get the month of January, obviously, for the compact vertical, and then it starts just like the normal compact vertical. So this is all good. This is all correct in date and, and everything. Nothing has to be done to this. So I have just January in here. And then I have one note spread, an extra piece of paper in here to use for something. And then what I did also, besides having this cover for the whole planner, I did it so that if I wanted to have, because I, I have so many covers, you know, and I want to use all my covers. So depending on which planner I was using or which planner I was interested in, because like this weekly one, I'm not going to look at it more than, you know, just I'm going to plan for the, the beginning of the week, probably on Sunday, and then uh, I'll reference it, but I won't like be using it every day, but I will be using my daily planner. So if you put the covers on like this, then when you go like this, you have a whole nother planner. So this is my daily section. Now this I'm reusing and I did stick a pocket I got off of um, Amazon, these sticky adhesives that you can, you know, keep some stickers or something in there. So now this one, since it is 2022, I do have to redate it. But usually, you know, when you do a sticker kit, you decorate it here and, and a lot of um, places sell different numbers to replace the numbers just to make another type of look. So I figured, you know, what's the difference? The only thing here, I mean, I do have these two lines because last year the calendar went differently. Um, doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm going to be having a box sticker probably over those days anyway or decor or whatever. So I just redated this. I still got to get the 20 um, 23 up here, but there'll probably be a different design here, or I could just leave it if I wanted to and just put the 2023. There's so many possibilities. This one, um, this month I usually use for my, um, YouTube content or, um, things with my Etsy store. So that's what this month gets used for. So then we move into the dashboard, which did I, oh yeah, I took the 22 and two, you can't even tell. I went it out, so I'll be decorating this or using this for whatever. And then getting into, I had to again, stick two pages together. But getting into the weekly, now these are all wrong. <laughs> I think I have them here, yeah, they're all not even, I mean, the dates aren't even right because I just pulled ones that hadn't been written on, hadn't been stickered up, you know, hadn't been played with. But I do have enough for the 31 days. I made sure I had a, enough enough of these. See, the colors don't even match. But again, there's going to be stickers going over them, so it's not going to matter. So I'm just going to be putting my header up here. Um, I whited out the calendar. That's another th issue that's wrong. So I'm going to have to come up with something big to fit there because I really don't want to white this out 
every single day because that's a lot of white out. So I have to come up with something with that still. I forgot about that. But um, yeah, it's, it's going to work. I'll show you that it's going to work. So then I have January. And now I did notice one mistake that I made. I wanted to stick just the month of February in here. And I goofed and I put the compact vertical in with the daily. This one should have been before this up here after after this January, but it is what it is. It's not gonna hurt anything. I kind of just put it in here just so I could see it and put some sticky notes of things that I find out that I have appointments and stuff in February. So it's okay because I have to take this apart again for February and I'll fix it then. So I have just that in here and then I, it ends out the planner with the cover and then I have yet another A5 cover. So this makes the third planner and then this is my going to be my journal. So I have the daily focus journal in here. Haven't even read any of this. Now this is one thing too. It's kind of kind of thick and sometimes things get stuck a little bit. You have to zhuzh them just a little to make it work, but it will work. I, it may be because I put too many covers on it. And you don't have to put these extra covers in here either like I did. And I think because it's not working too well, I probably will be taking them off. <laughs> but this is the start of that journal, which I will do all this all before January 1st, this section. I'm not sure why it isn't turning. Maybe we should take that off here. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> Hold on here. I think maybe the coil is turned funny. I even made sure I had a folder in the back too. I have to put this one back on, but I think I need to take this cover off. This I think is a little bit too much. So this will be open like this. These two need to come off. A little too thick. So that would just go from my daily planner into my journal here. So now I can turn the pages. That's what the problem was, too many covers. So this just has the directions for this journal, some reflecting, um, checking in kind of pages, letting go kind of pages, a big brain dump for the year or even just the month. And then um, tensions I wanna focus on. And then it starts into what I will be do doing each, oh, not yet, getting focused. There's still another section. Oh, they're getting focused. Is that what it is for every day? I'm sorry. Sometimes these guided ones confuse me a little bit of how they're actually supposed to work. This is where it is. This would be day one, January 1st, would start here. So I'm probably gonna have to write the date up there and then just journal this day. I may use these prompts, I may not use these prompts, depends on how much I have to write that day. So then you got first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then the next week. Did I do this wrong? You know what? I did do this wrong. I'm sorry. Let's get that part. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay. There's a letting go page. There's a brainstorm page, a getting clarity page. And then here's a getting focused. All these props, I guess, to answer. So these are all the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, not sure exactly what these are about. There's six of them. I think because this journal was a six month journal, that's what it is. So these are for each month. So I didn't really need to put all these pages in here either, but I can just use the first one for January and then get into the actual month. So then see this month. So this is what I'm focusing on for the month, how I'd like to feel this month, and then a couple more prompts and then it gets into the daily. So this is where I'll be journaling every day. I can either use these prompts and fill this in and journal here or change those to something else and journal here. But then let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the next week. So there's, I think four, five of them in here so that there's enough for the weeks in January. And then, like I said, I added some note paper in the back in a pocket and I gotta put my cover back on. These I always find really hard to do. It's hard to master putting these on. I haven't quite done that yet. <laughs> There's gotta be some kind of trick. I don't know, sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't work for me. Anybody knows. 
I watched videos. I don't know. I just some people get them on so easy. It's I don't. Know. I'm just glad that they're sturdy because I fight with these things a lot. Ooh. See, I have half of it on. I think you just like that maybe. There. Okay. Not as bad as I thought. All right. So yeah, I needed to take at least that one out of there. Um, putting these in here makes it a little bit bulkier. I guess I can have two, but I can't have three. So yeah, even this, that's kind of pushing it. So I think I'm going to take this one off too. I do like this little pocket here, but I redated my months, so I don't really need those stickers anymore anyway. So take these ones out. Get rid of Flora. Flora's gone. Flora's so 2022, right? Actually, it's probably 2021. 2022 was was uh, in bloom, right? So yeah, this is <laughs> old. All right, so here, good fresh start. Okay, so get rid of those covers. Now let me show you the stickers. First, I have come up with a one page for the compact vertical. So I still need to do the month. This will go for the week. here is this box. Now I personally like the calendar. I like to see where I am in the month. So I didn't make it to cover this. I know most places are making it to cover this, but I didn't because I wanted this to go up here so that I could see. Let's see that's right. <laughs> so I could see the calendar. And what I want to use this for is um, this year, 2022, I was using the A5 Focus Planner and it has this um, box down in the corner and I use my bills. So that was my idea for this. Um, I gave you an important and a member. So you can use whichever one you want. And I think I'm going to use the important. And then you can put it here, you can put it up here, wherever you choose to put it. And I'm gonna list my bills there. So now there's all these different size boxes. There's three of these. Um, I'm just gonna stick this one on January. I don't know my plans obviously yet, but just to show you, you can put it all the way up here. It basically fits in four lines. That's the big box, and then this is the double box. I'm trying to think where I could put this one. Um, I think I'm gonna put this one down in the bottle Wednesday because I normally have I have garbage to take out. Except that that gonna affect anything being Sunday. I don't know if that's gonna affect my garbage or not. So I'm just gonna put it here anyway. This fits two lines. And then we have the really narrow ones, which, oh, I should have put this on a different day because I want to put this on Wednesday too. I'm going to, I'm going to put this over on Saturday because that's my cleaning day. I was thinking of this one for my videos because I have been doing videos on uh, Wednesdays and Sundays. So that's what I was going to do here. One on Wednesday there and one on Sunday. There are a couple pieces of decor. So this one has two trees and two snowmen. So um, if you wanna put them other places, I was thinking that they would look really cute down here. But you could put the two trees down here. You could put a tree and a snowman down there. You could put a snowman somewhere else. Um, I think I'm gonna put the two trees together. Kind of layer them a little bit. Closer together. And then maybe we can put a snowman. I mean, we've got room up here to break it up. Maybe I'll put that one. I'm gonna put this one over on this side, bring a little red over here. This guy could go where? We're gonna put him up on Monday. 
because Mondays usually are no fun. <laughs> so we'll give a cute little snowman there to make it be fun. And then this one can go, uh, I'm going to put it over here to keep it out of the way a little more. There. So then we have a whole week and there's all still this left. You could use that remember somewhere else too. If there's something else during the week you want to remember on a different day. I think it looks really cute. So now for dailies, is that going to start in the first? That's confusing, huh? Well, of course, it's going to be Monday. So whatever the date is Monday, right? These pages were from whatever month they were from, and you can't tell. They're all co all cohesive now, and, and they look, look fine. And they're ready to go for 2023. So until next time, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to be notified every single time that we upload. Bye. We'll see you in the next one.